ourselves from the past and gone. No, I know I've grown weary as I go. I need someone to take me home.
is now on fire in living sunrise a full display of colors leaking in between just look up to the sky the one you're under i'm looking up there too wait for me
Alright, mic check, check, check. Testing one, two, three. Alright. Alright, mic works, that's good. Alright, so, hello ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be doing a flight from Columbus, Ohio to... I honestly do not know. Um, so let's see if we can find a place to go to. I'll just slow it up in just a second. Let me get the chat popped out. There we are. 
and I can close that. So that's good. Makes the frame rate happy. Um, all right, so I'll switch on over to the desktop. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And the dog is barking in the background. Great. And ooh, is one of the flight flying. England to JFK. Well, triple seven. That's gonna be the longest flight. All right. So we're probably gonna be flying an Airbus, most likely. Uh, we might do Boeing. Um, I don't know about Bombardier. The thing with CRJs is that they're well slower than Airbus or uh, Boeing for obvious reasons because they don't have powerful engines like the Airbus and the Boeing but um yeah let me uh let's see KCMH yep yeah. and let's really search any flight um we got American here and American just pretty much flies Boeing's um MD-80s 737-800s um a couple of Embraer's and uh, CRJ 700s. Uh, US Airways mostly flies Airbus and Embraer's and Bombardier's sometimes. Uh, a lot of Embraer's of it going on right now. Uh, there's a couple of A319s, the Charlotte. Um, I'd like to do Charlotte, but I don't know. I mean, Charlotte is those types of airport which landing is kind of tricky. Um, and not the longest runway, but um, it's kind of tricky. The airspace is pretty packed up. Um, so I mean, I don't know. It's just tricky to land at Charlotte. There's also an Embraer. I we're probably not gonna fly an Embraer because I don't, I didn't buy the Embraer. Um, from a third party content add-on because um, it's way too damn expensive. So, most likely be flying an Airbus, Boeing, or Bombardier. BOI, I well, presume that's Boys, Wyoming. Let me search that up real quick. B O I. Could be a completely different thing, I don't know. No, it isn't. Yep, Boys Airport. Idaho, Sun Wyoming. What the hell was I thinking? Yeah, that's quite a ways from Ohio. That says that's going to be a seven hour flight. Yeah. Long flights would give me a lot of hours, but I mean, I don't, long flights are kind of boring, so I tend not to do those. I tend to stick with short flights. Huh. That's interesting. There's one to Bangor, Maine. That's funny. That's with an Embraer. Um, let's just see. You know what? Screw it. We'll go to Charlotte. What are the other options? MD-80. You could fly to Dallas, Dallas, Fort Worth. I've already been there. I'd like to go somewhere new. Los Angeles. That's a four-hour flight. No, thank you. Dallas Fort Worth is about a two hour flight. Could go to O'Hare. Uh that's with an Embraer. Hmm. LaGuardia. That's with an Embraer though. Oh my god. Alright. Um Let's look for KCLT, see what flights are available. Got four pages of flights. Wow. Um, preferably with an Airbus A319. And looks like we're going to be taking this. 
So this is flight number nine or three eight. Yep. Alrighty. So I will go ahead and set the page title to that on switch. Let's see here. Here we go. About 302 nautical miles. I believe here about 1748. So it'll be kind of. We flew from Charlotte to Atlanta, then Atlanta to Nashville, and then Nashville to Columbus. Nashville to Columbus was a bit longer. And then we'll fly Columbus to Charlotte, which will be longer than Nashville to Columbus. So, getting longer and longer. Um, Alright, looks good. Text message. That's nice. Um, all right. Airbus A three hundred. No, that ain't right. A three nineteen. There we go. Uh, let me log in here to sim brief. Thing. Log in. And generate their own. There we go. All right, let's see our route. Okay. Looks like we're going to be making a lot of turns once we get down to Charlotte airspace. So, looks like pretty much over West Virginia. Virginia is going to get pretty boring. Um, wow. That's. Looks like we're going to have flight level 350. Nice. That's way up. We usually get 1 enter 0 or 180. Oh, and the three five zero. It's gonna be a long climb though. Um Alright, let's download the route. And uh, this doesn't go in pictures. This goes in Documents. Where's document? Oh there it is in libraries. And there we go. Save it. And now we will launch up FSX and ACARS. And they both require administrator administrative attention. Okay. Alrighty. Uh. Once again, when we get up and flying, play some music, um, as usual, just kind of, I don't know, make it more lively. <laughs> um, it's free music though, because, um, you know, copyright issues and all that good stuff. Yeah. That's probably going to be music you never heard of. So, it's the same music that was on during the pre-show. But, um, that's probably the only music I know that I have that's not copyrighted. Or publicly known. So. I'm going to go ahead and log into Smart Cars. Or A Cars. Or Mare Track. Whatever you like to call it. It has many names, but, um, yeah. Sing, it's the load. Okay.
not responding. Isn't that cute? All right. See if we have flights. Let's see, we are done the one to Nashville flight fifteen. We'll delete that. Delete. All right, flew it. Um, this one yeah, AC nineteen dash hundred. Uh, distance zero two nautical miles. Alrighty. They're still not responding. Thank you. Let's see. Well, FSX is loading up. Okay. All right. Uh, Bike simulator still takes a while to load. Uh, oh boy. All right, we're gonna click fly on this and. All right. This fight simulator gets here. Hey, it's right here. <laughs> All right. Nice. Um, change the aircraft. First of all, that way we can get in our flight number and all that. <sighs> Departure time is scheduled for 17.48 hours or 5.48 p.m. There we go. And flight number will be Yenner 38. I won't adjust the tail number to this because it doesn't really change on there anyway. This is part of the skin. Plus, that's the actual airplane. With that um, library. That's its actual tail number. So. Um. See where is it? There it is. Hey, all right. Let me find the route. I was lied to. Apparently, the cruising altitude will be one nine zero 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 zero. Looks like. Uh, kind of a straight shot. Pretty much an L. Going to South Carolina a little bit. So, at least to go over the Appalachians, that'll be nice. Seventeen thirty-two. wow, that is freaking close, that's unreal. 
48. Okay. And we shall be on our merry way. Joystick. And here we go. So we are going to start off on a runway because I don't trust air traffic controllers. Because I need me jet uh, gates near that or me clicking them because I honestly don't know what is what. So we're going to start on, on our runway and pick our own gate. That way to make sure that that gate actually has a jetway. Because most airports in this game, they have gates. They alternate. Has a jetway, doesn't have a jetway. Has a jetway, doesn't have a jetway. So you got a 50 50 shot. But, yeah. Twenty percent left. Everyone wants to get here. There we go. All righty. Rate centered out pretty good, so that's nice. Oh, I think I saw an American the US Airways. All right, I'll try to park next one. switches here so that way I'll be ready to shut her on down. Delta connection. 
sad. Sweet ass time getting him. And let's open up the luggage bins. I don't know why I called it that. Oh well. And that's still a warning. Alright. So that's the GPS. Get our altitude when we contact the ATC. Heading, get that when we take off and we're up in the air. Speed will be. Um, I'm gonna set it to. Well, it actually depends on what they're gonna set us to, so. I'm gonna set it to 345. Because I don't really set it when it's at or under 10,000 feet, so. Yeah. Three hundred forty-five. Uh, let's turn to the ATIS. Columbus Airport information: Yankee two or four eight Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility greater than twenty miles. Sky condition: view cloud four thousand nine hundred. Temperature two point three. Altimeter two niner niner two. ILS runway two eight left. ILS runway two eight right in view. Landing and departing runway two. Exit is open. People are boarding. Let us go through the pre flight checklist. Let's get our request clearance. Columbus clearance delivery. US Air 938 IFR to Charlotte. Ready to copy. US Air 938 is cleared to Charlotte Airport as filed. Fly runway heading. Climb and maintain 7000. Departure frequency is 132.3. Squawk 0612. Altitude set, that's just kind of it. If I set it, it really doesn't do anything if I activate it, so it's just kind of there just for a reminder, I guess. I don't know if it's just something that I'm missing to flip or if it actually doesn't work out. But we will go ahead and turn on the lights, interior lights on, wing on, nav and logo on. Oh, that's logo on. Uh, yeah, wing on. And recognition on. And we'll put on taxi here shortly. Seabelt sign once they're done with the baggage. Alright. Do we have the nav and logo on? Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, you can barely see it. Now we just wait till we finish boarding up. Oh lord. Lord, lord, lord.
in the world. Yeah, there we go. The interwebs weren't working. Oh, look at that. They're just about done. Alrighty. Let me see if... Let me get ready to track the thing on ALV.net. Should pop up there shortly. And we are almost ready. Let me request taxi. Columbus Brown, US Air 9038 West Yankee, ready to taxi. IFR. US Air 9038, taxi 2 and hold sort of runway 28 left using taxi. Delta Charlie, Fox Drive Delta, contact tower on 132.7 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 28 left. Using taxiway Delta, Charlie, Oxtrot, Delta. I will US close Air, the main door and release the parking brakes. We'll go on outside view and we'll start. Oh, see public sign on. And we will start up the flight. Welcome aboard, everyone. Before we get moving, please be sure to fasten your seatbelt. Return your seat back and folding trays to their full upright position. Engine and ignition. Store your carry on luggage in on. either an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. If seated next to an emergency exit, please read carefully the instructions located by the exit. If you do not wish to perform the Turning functions on described one. in them in the event of an emergency, please inform the flight attendant so that they may. We request that all portable electronic devices, such as mobile phones or laptops, be either turned off or put in airplane mode at this time. This is because these devices may interfere with the aircraft's navigational and communication equipment. We will inform you when you may continue using these devices. We would like to remind you that smoking on board this aircraft is prohibited by law, as is tampering with, disabling, or destroying engine one is on. detectors. If you have any questions Sorry, about two. this flight today, don't hesitate to ask myself for another flight attendant. Have a great flight. On behalf of the captain and crew, welcome aboard the flight. Make sure your seat belt is fastened. Return your seat back to trace to their full upright position. Also, please turn off all electronic devices. Thank you. Um, let's see, we should pop up here on the ALV.net. Engine 2 is on. Nice. Yeah, we just popped up. Awesome. Yep, status is currently pushing back on the website. It is exactly what we are doing. Oh. I'm gonna just keep pushing me back. Um. US Air 938, full position, caution of the truck. I'm not stopping for a freaking forklift. US Air 938, continue taxiing. Damn okay, right. Roger, US Air 9 or 3 Oh, Tug Tug exploring places today. Push me all the way back up here. Columbus Ground, Pacifica 1051, with Zulu, ready to taxi, IFR. Pacifica 1051, oh, taxi uh, 2 and hold short of runway 2, heat left via taxiway Delta. Which runway am I going to? Tower on 1, 3, 2, point oh, seven, it's way left, same as him. I'm gonna beat you. Taxi uh -huh. 2 and hold short Bitch. runway 2, heat left. Via taxiway, Delta, Pacifica, nice. 1, 0. Alright. Alright, do, 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 do. I'm gonna go far back till the wheels almost touch the grass, but not quite. Thank you, Mr. Tuck Tuck. And we will have the engines, taxi lights are on, and here we go.
No. Oh crap, he's going fast. Turn. Turn, damn you, turn. No. Shit. Please turn right. Oh no. It's a race. Come on, bitch, it's a race. It's a, <laughs> it's a freaking race. Oh my god. Oh lord. It is a... Not be me, you piece of shit. The other and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. You can release your seatbelt by lifting the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight in case of any turbulence. You can find several emergency exits on this airplane. Please take a moment to locate the closest exit to you. In some cases, the nearest exit may be situated behind you. If we need to evacuate, why do I have to go this way? Why can we heat on that way? Beat him, beat him, beat him. Yes. I may have gone the grass. Ha ha ha, fuck him. Yeah, that's right. You get second. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, he has to hold. Woman, you better hurry up. I'm about to take off. Come on, switch to cockpit view, please. Hello. There we go. That's a freaking fair. I copied. I'm trying to switch views. Lady, really?
That's the same one. Well, normally that's a golf ball. It's the same one I landed on when I came here. Columbus Tower, huh? Delta 3267 miles east, inbound ILS, runway 28 right approach. Delta. Delta. Columbus departure, US Air 9038 is climbing through 2300 for 7000. US Air 9038, Columbus departure, roger, altimeter 2, 9 9 US Air 938, turn left to heading 160, proceed on course, climbing speed 7000. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get there. Oh, almost there. Got it. Turn left to heading 160, resume on navigation. Oh, that's right. No. US Air 938. No, left. Okay, yeah, there we go, left. There we go. US Air Daisy. I'm gonna get over speed. US Air 938, please expedite your turn to heading 135. I have to go to 135? What the hell? Oh no, that's the other way. Whoopsie daisy. I got air spoilers on. Oh man, we gotta slow down. Draw down. I am trying to without going over, like, I'm already under, what, I'm 250 knots under 10,000 feet, that's pretty bad. I am at 7,200. What the hell are you reading? Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm already heading 
Taxi lights. Taxi lights. Taxi lights. Taxi lights. Taxi We got about 52 minutes till we get to Charlotte. Yay. Oh, 53. I just went up a minute. I suck. Turn on some music. US Air 2. <laughs> Flight number 2, yeah. Uh, <laughs> US Air 2. Uh, I don't know why I found that fun. Oh! I didn't turn on our photo. That'd probably be a good idea. Let's turn on the speed brakes.
Virginia right now, and we are almost in Charlotte. Not Charlotte, North Carolina. Almost there. We're gonna be in Tennessee for a couple of seconds. We were in Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we just got out of West Virginia, so we got 16 minutes left. Apparently, to the Ameritrade. But that depends on uh, air traffic. Carolina. 
We'll do a quick little turn in South Carolina, line up for the runway in Charlotte.
Charlotte right there.
vision to me came And from the heart I heard it call my name And through its voice It gently spoke That there is more to know Wonderful, 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 wonderful. That flight time was 35 minutes. About an hour flight. Charlotte approach, okay. Mooney, November 8582, Papa, with you, 10000. Mooney, November 8582, oh. Papa, Charlotte approach, Roger, altimeter 2992. Come on, Mr. Jetway. Mooney, 82, Papa, traffic is 9 o'clock, 4 miles at 8500. Beach Baron, report them in sight. Beach Baron. Oh, there I am on the map. Ho ho! That's the same doing. They seem to get. Oh, I already hit the gate. And jetway. The jetway can't touch. We all good to go. Yeah, sorry man, just missed it. Charlotte, approach on the 
Oh, I'm just a jetway. Alright, I'll follow this PIRP. Come on, file it, file it, file it. Of course, that's just now. And... When do I ever get here? Okay, yeah. Exit out of that. Uh, we are done. End flight. Alright, so that was a flight from Columbus to Charlotte. Um, I don't know what the next flight will be. Um, I have absolutely no idea. But, um, yeah. There's obviously since Charlotte is um, U.S. Air's main hub, there's probably gonna be a lot of flights to uh, a lot of different places. So um, yeah. Um, so next flight that we do is probably gonna be a lot, give us a lot more options to choose from. So alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. And yeah, probably we'll do one tomorrow. Um. Maybe tonight, but I'm not sure. Uh, um, depends on how quickly the PIREP gets filed, so thank you for watching.